Hi, who are you and what do you do? Um, hi, my name is John Gosier. I am the founder of a company called Africa, and uh, we run a contest every year called Apps for Africa. This is the second year that we have run this contest, and uh, many of the winners were uh, speakers here today at TEDx Accra, which was fantastic. Uh, the event was uh, began with a day of discussion about global development issues. Uh, it went into a series of talks by the winners of Apps for Africa and other people here in Uganda, uh, in Ghana, sorry. And then um, uh, it ended with um, a talk from that was being simulcast from Germany, uh, where Melinda Gates talked about um, uh, reproductive health and contraception. Uh, and how did you get into this sort of stuff, tech, software development? So I've always been into tech, but my, my um, gateway drug, so to speak, was design. Uh, so I've, I went to art school. I'm a designer by, by training. Um, I do a lot of uh, visual work, uh, visualizations and, and websites and graphic design and so on. And so it was in my uh, early discovery of graphic design and not being able... Uh, initially, I wasn't. Uh, I, I never had the ability to also make the application that I was designing. It was like yeah. I could make it look pretty, but I couldn't make it work. And so I started to recognize how much power uh, was in the ability to program and being able to actually make things and, and deliver solutions. And so. Um, a few years ago, I started to really focus on app development and uh, programming languages and, and design, uh, system design theory, and it led me to where I am today, uh, which uh, then led me to uh, Africa, where I was like, well, I have these skills. Maybe there are ways to share these skills with others. And so I started my first company, Africa, uh, on that sort of idea of how can I transfer knowledge to the developers here so that they can find jobs um, with the organizations that are coming to their country and doing projects, but usually hiring people from wherever they come from. Like these multinational uh, companies tend to not hire local developers. And what do you think is the key thing for the tech industry growing in Africa at the moment? Sure. So I think it's absolutely uh, closing that loop and having local developers developing local solutions. Uh, and it needs to be more, participa more participatory, so we need to see uh, more uh, African software developers contributing to the global software development culture. And what do you think will actually help that happen and become a proper vision? Sure. For the future. So I think uh, absolutely things like uh, like Apps for Africa, where you're you're not. Um, you're not uh, dictating what the solution is to the person who's on the ground. You're saying, what are your solutions to the problems you face every day? How can you solve them? And how can we support you solve those things? And I think if, every, if, if the entire industry, the global development industry, um, as well as the local uh, business community, looks at things from that perspective, uh, then we'll start to see a lot more young innovators come up with really big ideas and big solutions to big problems. And one like spanner in the works, what do you think about girls in tech as a lot of the sort of bar camp events that go on in Africa and there was a recent like um, event going on in Kenya with the British Council and across Africa, but there weren't many women involved. Yeah. So what, what are your views on that side? So I think um, that's an even bigger uh, area where there's trouble because it um, it's not limited to just tech, right? Like there's there's... Um, uh, a changing uh, a need for a more evolved look at how the workplace exists in Africa. Um, in particular in the tech area uh, uh, my company supports an organization called Women in Tech Uganda which is all female software developers and designers um, who are all interested in, in doing more in the tech industry uh, and it supports them dis in discovering ways to make that happen. Um, so they meet uh, you know, once or twice a month uh, they share ideas, they have talks, they have uh, workshops, and it's, it's very uh, female-centric. Uh, but it's not exclusive to the men who want to be supportive, which is good, because it can't be like us versus them. You know, uh, Men have a responsibility to help female tech entrepreneurs as much as female tech entrepreneurs have a uh, responsibility to um, support men. It just needs to be more voluntary as opposed to um, forced or... Um, expected. Great, thank you very much and if someone wants to find out more about you, how can they do so? 
Sure. So the best way to find out more about Apps for Africa is to visit APPS, the number four, Africa.org. Uh, that's our website. And you can find me on Twitter at J-O-N-G-O-S. Thank you. Thanks.